right? So we've seen Bitcoin fall, a uh, beautiful little drop. We're actually breaking the uh, 29,000 level as we speak. Take a look at this, guys. Now, one thing I've talked about, and I'll throw it to you in a second, Ben, is that we've talked about how this channel was insanely hard to break out of. And again, a lot of people don't understand why it's so, so such big resistance. And I want to just show you here, folks, if you go back to the beginning of the bull market, right? So we were already trading up here and we had this big move to about the 41, 42,000 level and we retraced right there and it stalled. And then it rallied to 65,000. Then we came down three full times, one, two, three, and we rallied to 69,000. And then we kind of came down eventually consolidating right here and breaking down. And that's why this level is such a major technical resistance because that was the buyer level back then. That was where everyone bought. So once we broke, it's now where everyone that bought in here is actually selling, right? They're like, oh my goodness, I got back to break even. I'm going to unload. In addition, it also has the aspect of being a technical level that I see. And so I've shorted multiple times into this level, um, as I'm sure many, many hundreds, if not thousands of other technical traders have. So here we are breaking down, trading right around th uh, 29,000. And you could see how we kept on getting rejected. It, even when closing above, you had a reversal candle. This is a topping tail. So topping tails are powerful. This was a green candle. This is called a reversal candle in technical analysis. And then we were hugging this lower level and finally the break point. So I wouldn't say that we're definitely heading straight down, but I think Ben and I would both agree that there's probably some weakness in Bitcoin coming in. Um, we were just talking about it on the spaces, Ben.